think much of the public discussion has been framed in the incorrect way, which is kind of, again, almost in willful ignorance of the facts. Uh, if you actually look at big tech, uh, the big platform companies, they are investing a lot in infrastructure. Mm -hmm. They are building the giant data centers. They are building quite a bit of fiber, especially if you look at submarine cable construction over the last decade and so on. Uh, I think most of it has been funded by these large companies. They haven't had to fund much of long distance fiber because that's already available. They could just lease it for the most part. Uh, so ba basically what's been happening is that big tech has been investing a lot mm -hmm. in infrastructure. On the other hand, also what's happened is that, say, if you go back 30, 40 years ago, in those days, telecom was at the frontiers of uh, high tech, cutting edge technology, um, computing, transmission, all these things were often had to be specially developed for needs of the telecom. What's happened is that to a large extent as a result, transistor, which came out of telecom, out of the labs initially, made possible the rise of the computing industry. And that one has now essentially invaded telecom. And that has meant that both switching, which was very complicated, and long distance transmission are relatively inexpensive. Which is why people, like, companies like Google or Facebook or Amazon are able to build out that infrastructure. They are doing a lot of what telcos used to do.